Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of David Show. It's your host David, and it, it's been a while. I missed this. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I uploaded. I'm not even sorry one bit though. The thing is, I've been getting a new job and been trying to balance my routine with work, AA meetings, friends, and my band. So now I finally feel the time is right for another video. In today's video, I'm going to go over three things. I'm going to talk about the two new Guns N' Roses songs, the casting of the Mario movie, and finally, the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. So beginning on Guns N' Roses, since 2016, they've been pretty busy with touring. And you know, I never really expected another release from them, but behold, in August 2021, we got a song called Absurd, which as a Guns N' Roses fan, it's actually a reworking of an older demo which was leaked in the early 2000s of a song called Silkworms. It was a shocker to hear Slash's guitar tone on a Guns N' Roses song again. Now, Absurd isn't that great, it has some industrial feel and is a pretty lackluster song with the old vocals being reused and the vocal lines falling out of tempo during one part. Uh, I would give this song an overall 5 out of 10. Not bad, but not great. Now. On September 24th, Guns N' Roses released yet another single called Hard School, which also dates to the early 2000s, which we'll call uh, the early Chinese democracy days. This song I've heard was originally worked on by Axel Slash and Duff for a fourth LP album in 1994, but unfortunately Guns N' Roses split and the song was just a demo. Now we get to hear it in its full glory and you know what? Heart School kicks ass. The song has the old Guns N' Roses feel to it, especially with Slash's solo during the middle and I love the chor chorus and the overall riffs on this song. It's not up there with Estranged or Paradise City or anything but it's a good song and I'm thirsty for more. I'd give this song an overall 7 out of 10. With these releases, we can see they're recording again and working on stuff, so I'm hoping for a new album in the coming years. As for songs I'd like to hear, well, there's a couple. There's two songs from the Chinese democracy era that I really like, Eye on You and State of Grace, which I'd like to hear, along with Corn Shucker and Crash Diet. Good days. Guns N' Roses is back, baby. Now for the recent Mario movie casting, it's, uh, weird to say the least. So we have Chris Pratt as Mario. I know, Star-Lord, which I don't see fitting as Mario. Mario is supposed to have an Italian accent and nobody can match the character of Mario, except the video game voice actor, so I'm not a fan. But as Bowser, we have no one else except the myth, the legend, the fucking Chad, Jack Black. Jack Black sounds like a weird casting choice, uh, I think he is, but I can't see him nail Bowser in his own unique way, I don't know, but... We'll have to see. Now, I'll say this, Illumination, which made a Despicable Me and the Minions franchise, are doing Mario, so I don't see it becoming a good movie at all. In fact, it'll probably be worse than the 90s Mario live action movie, and that one was horseshit. Okay, so, the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. Uh, everyone and their grandmother was complaining that they hadn't shown the movie. I mean, the movie is supposed to drop in December, but then four months before release, we get the fucking trailer, unexpectedly. And it's a blast. It broke record for <laughs> how many views it gets, the trailers. Uh, it got more views than Endgame, which is something. Uh, I can see this movie working with the plot element of Spider-Man and Doctor Strange and a multiverse Sinister Six. It's a cool concept and I think it'll be at least a really fun movie to watch. I don't know about good because we know th third Spider-Man movies have gone down the drain before. Uh, I love seeing the villains Green Goblin, Sandman and Doc Ock which I grew up with and the same actors nonetheless coming back. But as I say, the movie might be just become bloated, especially with if the rumors of Toby and Andrew coming back are true, but I don't think they are. Then again, Marvel has handled many characters in one movie before, like Infinity War and Endgame, and it went pretty well. So I have faith in Marvel, and I'm excited to see Spidey in action against the Sinister Six, which uh, so far consists of Green Goblin, Sandman, Doc Ock, Electro, I think the Lizard, yeah, and uh, Rhino, I guess, or Scorpion, uh, I don't know. I don't really know, but... We'll just have to see. We just have to wait and see. I hope for another trailer just before the movie releases at least. And uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment down below. That said, thank you for watching. And I'll see you on another video of David's show. Yeah.